Okay, let's talk about the best way to solve equations. So we're gonna use this equation as an example of what I wanna talk about in this video. But uh, some of you out there are saying, well, isn't the best way to solve equation is to get the right answer? Well, obviously, uh, that is always the best uh, thing you wanna do is to get the right answer. But what I'm talking about here is the format, how you write out your work. Uh, so stylistically, some textbooks, some teachers um, uh, kind of uh, solve equations using one kind of format, and then others do, the, do it another way. And I strongly suggest you follow the way I'm going to show you, which is probably the way most teachers uh, teach as well. But you never know. Uh, a lot of you out there um, are going to um, see the way I'm going to do this problem, and it's not a good way to do it. Uh, can get you in trouble. So anyways, I'm going to talk about the uh, particular format you want to follow when you're solving equations like this or any equation in mathematics. Uh, but before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've learned that all students can be successful in mathematics over all those years of teaching. Okay, but it requires two things. One, the students got to do the work. They got to, you know, take notes. They got to do all the homework. So that's uh, one part. The other part is they need great math instruction, clear and understandable, easy to listen to. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can definitely help you out. By the way, too, if you're preparing for a test or if you're homeschooling, I can definitely help you out. The test I'm talking about are things like the GED, SAT, maybe a teacher certification exam. And of course, if you're homeschooling middle or high school mathematics, I'm going to leave information to all my stuff in the description of this video, uh, including links to my math notes if you need some math notes. And everyone needs some math notes because what else are you going to study from? Okay, so let's get into what I'm talking about here. And again, we're going to um, use this equation. By the way, too, I think what would be good before we get going is um, have you solve this equation, okay, and write out your steps. Well, I'm just interested in seeing what format you uh, were taught. And then if you want to put your answer into the comment section, uh, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at two very, very common ways that students learn how to solve equations. Okay, so, and by the way, this particular video is not going to be about the actual specifics about how to solve an equation. It's really about the uh, writing out the format and how you do it. So here, when we do solve an equation, you want to use the distributive property first in a situation like this. So the first thing we have to do is multiply negative 4 times x. That gives us negative 4x. And then negative 4 times this positive 5 gives us a negative 20 equals 10x minus 2. So uh, uh, whether you're using this format or another format, you want to just take one step at a time and write that step. You don't want to do multiple steps. Uh, in uh, you know when you're solving an equation, you don't want to do like three things on one line here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. You don't want to be like, here is the problem, and here are my steps. This is the answer. That's not enough. You got to tell the whole story. Remember, math or solving an equation is like telling a story. There is a beginning, there is a middle, and there's an end. You know, you want to you know tell the story of what happened. You don't want to be like, once upon a time there was this thing and the end. You know, that's not much of a story, right? Uh, so anyways, let's get back to what I'm talking about here. So this is the first step. Hopefully you knew to take that. If you didn't know this, check out my videos on how to solve one step, two step equations, distributive property, etc. But here is what I really want to talk about. So uh, the first thing you want to do, okay, when we're solving equations is you want to get the variables to the left-hand side and the numbers to the right-hand side. So if you have variables on the uh, right-hand side, you got to move them over. If you got numbers over here, you got to move those over. Again, I'm assuming you know a little bit about solving equations. But uh, in this particular step, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to move that 10x over to the left-hand side of the equation. So how can I do that? Well, I can subtract 10x from both sides of the equation. That's the step that we need to take. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is a particular way that I see in some textbooks, and I see some students working this way. They'll, they'll write the 10x, they'll subtract the 10x uh, on a horizontal line like this, okay? This is not the way you want to do it, but let's go ahead and continue on. There's nothing technically wrong with doing this. I'm going to subtract 10x here, and I'm going to subtract 10x there. Remember, I'm subtracting 10x from both sides of the equation. This is the correct step, but stylistically, I'm writing it like on a horizontal line. So 10x minus 10x is 0. That leaves me with negative 2. 
and then I have negative 4x minus 10x is negative 14x minus 20. So this is the correct step, okay? But again, this is not a good way to do it. You don't want to work horizontally. I'm going to show you uh, here in a second how you do want to work, okay? But this is technically correct, and there are some textbooks that kind of show um, how to work this way. But if you're working this way, you kind of want to graduate and, um, you know, move to this next format. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish up uh, this problem. So here uh, we have negative 14x minus 20 is equal to negative 2. So that is correct. So now we want to move that negative 20 to the right-hand side. So what do we need to do? We need to have to add 20 to both sides of the equation. So again, just following this uh, format, I can write it this way. I can add 20 to both sides of the equation kind of like on a horizontal line, you know, like at your, your college ruled paper and a three ring binder type of deal. So now I have what, negative 14x minus 20 plus 20 is zero. So I'm just left with negative 14x on the left-hand side and the negative 20 plus a positive 20, I'm sorry, negative two plus a positive 20 is a positive 18. So this is correct, okay? This step is correct and this is correct. Now to solve for x, I just simply divide both sides of the equation by negative uh, 14, so I would do this, and uh, we, we are uh, left with x is equal to 18 uh, over negative seven. Of course, we always wanna reduce our answer, so the solution is negative nine over seven. So if you got that right, very, very good. Matter of fact, let me give you a nice little happy face, a check mark, an A plus, 100%, and I'm gonna give you a couple of stars for being pretty awesome, even if you use this kind of format, okay? However, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the way you want to continue to write out your work. Let's uh, show you the way you want to work, okay? And this is, I've been doing math for decades and decades. I've been teaching math for decades and doing math for decades. I'm telling you right now, this is how you want to do mathematics, okay? Or write equation solving. So uh, here is our first step, okay? We're going to do the distributive property, same thing as uh, the previous um, format. So negative 4 times x negative 4x, negative 4 times 5, negative 20. So that step is correct. Now, instead of working horizontally, you want to work vertically. So uh, the first thing I want to do is move my variables over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract a, uh, a 10x from this side. But I, whatever I do from one side of the equation, I got to do to the other side of the equation. So I'm, I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to put it right underneath like a column. So I'm going to subtract negative 10x here and negative 10x there, and then I'm going to draw this nice line. This is the exact way you want to work, okay? This is the better way because you're going to have your steps uh, uh, vertically, okay? Uh, when you're doing, let me just kind of digress here real quick. If you're trying to do all your work, let's say you have a, an equation here and there's more steps than this uh, this particular equation and you're doing stuff horizontally, you're gonna be writing out like endlessly. Your paper will not be wide enough, okay? So you wanna kinda contain your work vertically and just take it one step at a time. So believe me when I tell you, there are some uh, more advanced math problems that are like, you know, in pre-calculus and that are very, very wide, okay? If you start trying to add steps to that, you, your paper, again, is not gonna be wide enough. So you have to work down vertically. So this is, you can kind of get away with that, this kind of horizontal format and basic algebra, but as you, um, you know, get into more like algebra one and beyond, you're going to have to start doing it this way because you're going to have to kind of drive your work downward. But let's go ahead and continue on. So I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides of the equation. So uh, when you write things like that, you always kind of add down in a column manner. So negative 4x uh, plus negative 10x is negative 14x. Negative 20 plus 0 is negative 20. Uh, 10x minus uh, 10x minus 10x is uh, 0. And then negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. So as a teacher, I can see, okay, boom, I'm seeing exactly what uh, steps the student's taking. I see what they did. And if you happen to make a little error, guess what? The teacher is not going to punish you. They're going to give you partial credit. Remember, in a math class, partial credit is huge, okay? Uh, you want to get that partial credit and the only way you're going to get partial credit like it's way better to get an 8 out of 10 than 0 out of 10 okay if you don't show any work your teacher's just going to give you 0 out of 10 if you show that you know the process you know an 8 out of 10 on one problem you could still get an A on that test or in your class okay but you have to show you know things out uh, things step by step all right so here we go we got negative 14x minus 20 
equal to negative 2. The uh, next thing I need to do is to add 20 now. I need to move this number to the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 20 to both sides of the equation. Again, I'm going to just show it just like this. And now I'm adding down in a column manner. Negative 14x plus nothing, negative 14x. The 20s go away over here. Negative 20 plus 20, positive 18. There you go. That's correct. I'm following this. I'm like, okay, I'm grading the work. I'm, you know, I'm like, wow, this person really knows what they're doing. So now to solve for x, and I uh, simply have to divide negative 14 by both sides of the equation, and then you want to reduce your fraction, and there is the answer, negative 9 over 7. So hopefully you're doing your work this way, and if you are doing this, uh, your equation solving this way, let me go ahead and give you a nice happy face, 100% and A plus uh, for being an awesome math student. Your teacher is teaching you correctly or whatever program you are using is excellent. But uh, maybe you've been watching uh, some of my other videos. Whatever the case is, stick with this format, okay? You're not going to see that other way. And that kind of bugs me when I do see um, textbooks and, and things kind of uh, write things out this way. I mean, it might be easier for some students to read, okay? But stylistically, from a format, I don't, I'm not quite sure why they would uh, start getting students used to this way when they, uh, when you start getting into more advanced equations. You're simply going to have to work in this kind of format, um, you know, a vertical format. But just remember, anything you do in math, take it one step at a time, double check, make sure you're naked, you didn't make any mistakes, and then take another step. Okay, double check. And we're all going to make mistakes. I still make uh, mistakes in math. The whole idea is to try to reduce the amount of errors you make. That's the only way you're going to be able to do that is to write neat, clear, step by step. Be really, really focused and double, triple check as you go. If you do that, you're going to be able to catch almost all your mistakes. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've uh, been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand math videos, if you didn't know that, on my channel from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please check out all my math stuff. I make all my videos for you so you can be successful in math. But my best math help uh, is always in my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.